Hello guys, what's up? My name is Hollow, and today we are doing some of the cast work for a new upcoming LP. So in my new LP, it's going to be a runaway teen challenge. And in this video, we're not actually making the teen who runs away, we're actually making her parents. If you want to see the teen, she's actually in my last video where we do all of her casts and we more talk about the challenge and we talk about like all her traits and like why she's leaving and stuff like that. And we'll sort of touch on that here, but this is going to be more from like her parents' view and like her parents' angle rather than being from her angle. Uh, by the way, our teen's name is Kari, Kari Marks. So uh, you'll hear me reference her a lot when we're talking about this. But um, we're going to go ahead and talk about just the challenge in general in this video, just in case you missed the last one or you don't really feel like watching it. Um, so I'm still going to start with the basic teen runaway challenge rules. I'm just going to modify them a little bit so that they fit my own gameplay just a little bit better. So um, my teen is still going to start with zero dollar, well, zero simoleons and no house. Uh, I'm going to try to do the no electronics rule. It's a little bit difficult because, you know, Sims are always pulling out their phones. But um, we're going to try to do that. So if I ever see her, like, messing around on her phone or playing games on her phone, I'm going to stop her. But um, she's not allowed to have electronics until she gets a house. So until I actually build a house for her, she's not going to be able to just play around on her phone. Um, as a teen, she's not allowed to have a job. She can't get a job until she becomes a young adult, and when she's a young adult, she can only get a job once she has a house. So we're going to be doing a lot of just the rags to riches basics, just like digging stuff up, like um, gardening, stuff like that. And the most important thing is once I build up some money, I'm going to get all her money from busking because uh, Kari is really into music, so that's sort of what I want her to focus on. So once we get enough money to get her a guitar, well, I think I'm going to have her run away with her guitar, but once we get enough money to get her a busking station, then she can go out and busk for money. But um, the other rules is like she's not allowed to use other people's houses. So like say if she wants if she's really hungry or she wants to take a shower or something, she can't just go to her neighbors and be like, hey, let me use your bathroom real quick. She has to go to a community lot or she has to shower in the rain, something like that, where she's not using another person's home. Um, she can't go to school because naturally, like if a teen has run away from home and then they go to school, it's going to be really easy for their parents to find them and bring them home because they're literally just sitting in school so um we're not gonna have her go to school however I don't want her to get like the um the trait that says that she's irresponsible or whatever for not going to school so I'm gonna cheat that to make it go away because I think that's stupid she is being responsible she's a different type of responsibility but whatever um we'll deal with that in the actual LP um the last rule um I'm gonna try to have her avoid adults I'm not like too serious on this rule like if she talks to an adult, it's not like the challenge is over and I'm going to end it or anything. But um, I don't want her to have any close relationships with adults. So, like, she can't make friends with an adult or she can't make enemies with an adult. Because if someone, if an adult is, like, involved enough in her life, they're going to try to figure out why is this kid here by herself? Like, why isn't she with her parents? You know, that sort of thing. So, we're not going to have her super into that. But now that we've gone over just, like, the basic rules of the challenge, I should probably talk about, like, what's actually going on in this video. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna get into the guy we're making right now. Uh, he is Kari's father. His name is Thomas. Thomas Marks. And he is going to be her, like, the main driving force of why Kari leaves, essentially. Because, like, she's not gonna leave because her parents are bad people or anything. Like, her parents are good people and they love her and they treat her well. It's just her parents don't really want her to do music her parents want her to well her dad specifically wants her to follow in his footsteps so I'm gonna have him be probably like a business guy I haven't fully decided on what he's gonna be um I haven't gone in and done all the like actual in-game work yet to pick his career and stuff like that but I'm pretty sure he's gonna be a business guy I know I'm gonna have him be like a bright a Brichester graduate so he's gonna be like really pushing her to go to college at Brichester and he's gonna be like Pushing her, to, pushing her to have good grades and do lots of after school activities and stuff to try to get her to do really well and stuff like that because he wants her to grow well because his lifetime aspiration is the successful lineage aspiration so naturally he wants his daughter to have a successful lineage and to grow up really well and to have her own family and everything like that um, his traits are going to be family oriented bookworm and hot-headed 
So all of those sort of tie into it because like since he's a bookworm, like education and stuff is really important to him, like knowledge and stuff like that. It's all really important, but he's also family oriented. So he really does care about his daughter and he's, he really wants the best, what he thinks is best for her but at, he's also hot-headed, so if she doesn't do the things that he thinks that she needs to be doing, he's going to get upset about it, and he's going to sort of flip out and whatnot. So that's sort of going to be the catalyst for why she leaves, is because her dad's a little bit too strict when it comes to, like, you have to do what I want you to do. You can't do music. That's not a good career choice. Like, barely anyone makes it in music. That's ridiculous. What are you doing? That sort of thing. Um, but now that, like, we're into her mom, I should probably jump to her now, because we're actually seeing her. So uh, the mom is going to be Corinne, Corinne Marks, and Corinne is going to be a little bit different from Thomas. She's not going to be quite as like a heavy hitter as he is. Like Thomas is really going to go hard and be like, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do this other thing. But uh, with Corinne, she's more like, hey, just listen to your dad, just do what your dad says, your dad knows what's right, like that sort of thing. And like I have the idea where like Thomas is going to be like telling Kari, hey, you need to do your homework. Corinne is going to be the one who will actually sit down and help Kari with her homework, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so for Corinne, her aspiration is actually soulmate. So Corinne is actually a little bit more concerned with her husband than her daughter. Like, she still loves her daughter just as much as her husband does, naturally. But um, she's just, like, she's like her actual aspiration is involved with having a good relationship with Thomas. She wants her and Thomas to have like the best relationship they can. And so that's one of the reasons she pushes Kari is because she like naturally Kari is a part of their life and a big part of how their relationship goes. So she wants Kari to listen to her dad and do what the things her dad says. So that way she has a good relationship with her dad as well. And so that way, like, both Corinne and Kari are doing well with her dad. That's basically the idea. Um, for her traits, she's going to be family oriented as well, but her other traits are going to be unflirty and jealous. And for this, I just, I just sort of had this idea of her being like a woman who's not very confident. She's just sort of, she's always been sort of a mellow sort of chilled out person who's never really put herself out there so when she finally found this person who she really loves who's Thomas she gets like really jealous like she doesn't want anyone to take him away from her because he's like so important to her so it's that sort of thing where she's like she's not very flirty she's not a very outgoing person so she's always very nervous that she might lose him and naturally that's not going to happen because of course Thomas loves her just as much as she loves him but, like, you know, people get paranoid about stuff like that, and that can really um, affect people. And so I think that's sort of the thing that holds back um, Corinne from speaking up for Kari. Because, like, even though she knows that music is really important to Kari, and she's she sort of likes Kari playing music, like, I have the idea that, like, Corinne enrolls her in, like, piano classes when she's a little kid or something like that. But, um, so she, like, she wants to let her pursue her music she doesn't want to like completely take her music away from her or anything but she's not as like she's still not going to sit there and say no Thomas you need to let current you need to let Kari play her music she's not going to do that she's going to be like Kari hey you should listen to your dad like I know your music is important to you but you really need to listen to your dad he knows what's best stuff like that so that's sort of going to be the idea of how she's looking at things um but yeah, that's pretty much the basics on the parents. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start the challenge with Kari living with her parents. So we're actually going to get to see some of the gameplay of like how they live together and how they work together and what their dynamic is and all that sort of things. So we'll get to see sort of her dad telling her to do stuff and her mom helping her with stuff and stuff like that. But um, they're really going to get really going to dive into the, their dynamic before we have her run away because I want her parent like while this is a teen runaway challenge and it's all about Kari I want to her to have like a rich developed life rather than just being some random sim who I throw in and start working with I want her to actually have like a life and I want her to have like memories with her parents and like have her parent like if she's a runaway teen her parents are going to be trying to find her so they're going to be like calling her phone be like Kari where are you please come home stuff like that so I want it to have sort of that emotional effect and to have that actual background to it so that's why I really want to focus on their family at the beginning and um sorry when I said focus on her family I thought of the show with like Charles Dobson <laughs> it's just 
uh, weird. Okay. Anyways, um, for, I really want them to be like an important part of the story as well. That's why I wanted to do this whole cast video for them as well. Cause like I could just introduce them in the first episode and just be like, Hey, here are her parents. They're not really that important, but they are important. Cause it's like, these are the people that helped to make Kari and like, like not only like literally make her, but like they help build her up as to who she is and like create like how they help her grow and build her, um, sort of her personality and stuff like that. So they are super important and they're going to be important as this challenge goes on. And I really want her to have like a reconciliation with her parents because I don't want her to just like disappear from her parents' lives and stuff like that. I find that really sad. So I'd like her to have a reconciliation moment with her parents when she sort of builds herself up as a musician on her own. But, um, yeah, so I really want her parents to be an important part of this LP. That's why I thought they deserved their own video. It's because they are going to be important to this, even though we're not going to see them. I'm not going to, like, jump into their household and play from their perspective or anything like that. But, like, they are going to be important, and they are going to be, like, trying to talk to Kari, and they're going to be, um, like, eventually we will get them back together and sort of have them reconcile and stuff, probably when she's a young adult. So yeah they're important so i want them to really be around you know um but anyways this video is sort of coming to a close and i don't really know what i'm saying anymore anyways so i'm gonna go ahead and close it off uh thank you so much for watching uh, i really appreciate it i hope you have a great day no matter what time it is and i'll see you in the next one bye